Aloha friends, Helen with Floating Yoga School. I'm here at Waipulani Park in Kihei on Maui. You can see the West Maui Mountains behind me with the windmills. The clouds are beautiful. There's a full moon. It was an eclipse yesterday. So feeling lots of energy. And quite honestly, didn't want to roll out of bed this morning, but knew I wanted to get a short little flow, something to get my body moving early this morning. So this is a yoga inspired kind of workout bar-ish class. We will move together, breathe together, build a little strength and stability to set you up for the rest of your day. When you're ready, we're gonna get started at the top of your space. Take a moment here to rock a little bit forward and back, side to side. Find a sense of groundedness with your feet about hip distance apart, so right below your hip bones. Your tailbone neutral, that might mean a slight scoop under if you tend to stick your butt out, but not too far under, just so you can engage your core. Open up your arms, your palms face forward. Hug your shoulder blades together down your back and stay broad through your chest. Imagine reaching up through the crown of your head. And whether your eyes are closed or your gaze is soft out in front, start to lengthen and deepen your breath. Turn on that nice, strong, yogic breath, ujjayi, victorious, sound, feeling. There's a slight constriction in the back of your throat. And as you next inhale, reach your arms to the sky, stand a little taller. Exhale, interlace your fingers, flip your palms up to the sky, take a breath in. Exhale, lean up and over to your left. Let your hips lean a little bit right. Breathe here. Come back to center as you next inhale, and then take it to your left exhale, your right exhale. Whatever side you need, just do. Breathe here. Bring it back to center. Exhale, cactus your arms, open up your chest. Breathe in, hands high. Breathe out, fold it forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, hands down, step back, high plank up or push up and hold it there. Take your feet a little bit wider than you normally would. Feel free to soften your knees and really engage your core. And then we'll play with pressing back through your heels and softening your knees. Kind of like you're moving into a bear crawl position. I like feet a little bit wider for stability for the next move we're gonna do. Try to stay engaged through your low belly. Legs straight and then you're gonna tap opposite hand to shoulder. See if you can keep your hips a little bit still. Let's do three, two, one, even out your sides, downward facing dog. And you might keep your feet wide. You might bring your feet closer together if that's better. Think of chest to thighs and feel free to bend your knees a lot or pedal out your feet. Sway your hips a little side to side. Bend your knees, inhale, look to your hands. Take a little hop about a third of the way up. Doesn't have to be big. Again, and again if you can reach it. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Rise up, reach up, hands to the sky. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Reach overhead, breathe in. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms. Take your hands up and over to your left. And then draw a big circle with your hands, bend your knees, take it all the way around, up and over to the right. And then the opposite direction to your right, make that big circle. Inhale here, cactus your arms, exhale. Hands high, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, high plank up or push up. Hold again. Feet wide, we're gonna move from side plank to side plank. Feel free to drop your knee. I'm just gonna move to the outer edge of my right foot, inner edge of my left foot. Left arm lifts, side plank, back to center, and to the other side. And then continue like that. Stay strong and engage through your core. That feeling of knitting in, low belly and ribs. One more time each direction. Come back to neutral plank, downward facing dog. Again, adjust your feet as you need, pedal out, sway a little side to side. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Step or hop to your hands. 
inhale halfway and exhale fold release inhale rise hands reach high exhale palms together in front of your heart take your chair pose sit low keep your hands at your heart and find some little pulses imagine really engaging hamstrings and glutes by pressing more into your heels and then lift your low belly you might feel like you need to change your breath especially as we're moving into more of like a workout style of yoga or yoga inspired workout maybe not quite a yoga practice although it can still be meditative can still be really present I like to move with an ujjayi breath and then when I feel like I'm losing my breath maybe a big exhale through my mouth to release heat and reset let's do this for three two one hold your chair breathe in fold forward breathe out inhale halfway lift exhale hands down step just your right foot back sink your hips lengthen your spine as you exhale right knee toward your left calf hug it in extend long hug it in extend long hug it in let's do one more find some depth in your legs and a sense of stability and then rise to a high crescent lunge I'm gonna go a little deeper than I normally do and again find a little sense here of rootedness but also strength and lift so I'm grounded but I'm also really engaged maybe more so than I, than I normally would in my yoga practice hands to your heart take a lean forward wait into your front leg as much as you can we're gonna step forward like you're stepping into your chair pose but stay light on your right foot and then right back to your lunge really loading your front glutes and hamstrings I'm feeling mine maybe two more and then release your hands begin to straighten out your front leg as best you can might be a version of pyramid might be really bent it's all good and then we'll take left leg up and back three-legged dog open up your hip bend your knee feel free to find some movement here draw some circles bend and straighten roll your ankle release your foot down shift forward high plank upper push up chaturanga halfway down knees can always lower inhale up dog lift your heart and exhale downward facing dog hips to the sky feet together big toes touch reach your right leg up breathe in knee to nose breathe out inhale leg high tap your right elbow or shoulder back up breathe in cross it to your left fall in triangle extend your right leg lift your left arm and we're gonna lower hips and lift and lower and lift so finding I feel a little stretch in my left hip really turning on glutes and obliques to lift and lower when you're ready back to your three-legged dog step forward between your hands and then all the way up left foot meets your right forward fold halfway lift breathe in fold breathe out rise up reach up hands high to the sky exhale palms together in front of your heart we're gonna come back to that same thing find your chair pose maybe adjust your clothing hands to your heart or if you like hands out in front add those little pulses so with my arms out in front I'm just loading my shoulders and my core a little bit more really turning on glutes for three two one fold it forward halfway lift breathe in and exhale fold left foot steps back find that lunge shape we're going to move into kind of a little curtsy squat or a shiva squat left knee to right calf and that's going to prepare us for that step forward maybe one more nice create the depth so maybe this is a lower lunge for me it's a little bit lower than I normally would a high crescent lunge really feeling some openness in my front hip bones hip flexors finding that stability hands to heart a little lean forward weight mainly in my right foot and then step left foot up and tap your foot back we 
when your sides feel even. I didn't count on this one. <laughs> Come back to that lunge, breathe in. Hands down, breathe out. Right leg floats up and back, inhale, open up your hip, bend your knee. Explore movement, stillness, some circles. And release your foot down. Shift forward, high plank up or push up. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. Feet together this time, left leg high, breathe in. Knee to nose, breathe out. Inhale, leg up. Tap your left elbow or shoulder. Back up, breathe in. And cross it to your right, extend, fall in triangle. Right hand high, we're gonna take those little hip dips down and up. Let's try for a three, two, one. Back to your three-legged dog. Big step forward. And right foot meets your left, forward folds. Lift halfway, breathe in. Fold, breathe it out. Heel toe your feet out wide for a malasana squat, heels and toes out, hands to your heart. Begin to open up through your chest, lengthen through your spine. Send breath into your hips, your low back. And then think of lifting your pelvic floor. So rather than sitting really low, especially if you're pretty flexible, can you come up and out just a bit to find more engagement? For me, it's like my heels are pulling together and I feel my inner thighs, I feel my groin, I feel my glutes. One more breath in. Exhale, sit back, boat pose, Navasana. Soles of your feet together, knees out wide. Lift your heart, inhale. Hinge over your legs as you exhale. Take it back up, knees together for your boat pose. We're gonna row with our boats. So lean back, hands, shins float, hands to your heart, and a little dip side to side. Imagine my elbow coming toward my hip. Try to keep my legs stable. Try to keep my core engaged. Do what you can. I love seeing all the people at the park in the morning starting their day. So bright, so happy. A little movement, a little nature. For a three, two, one. Even out your sides, feet down. Give yourself a little hug. Lift your chest. Hands behind you, we're gonna move reverse. Take through a little slide through if you can, bum toward the ground. So you might take your hands a little bit wider. And keep in mind, I may have said this before, I have super long monkey arms. So for me, some of these shapes are gonna be a little bit easier or anatomically just more accessible. You can always bring your hands to blocks or to fists, and it may not even happen for me today. We're gonna to think about feet down, knees high. Inhale, reverse table. Exhale, tap your bum, or see if you can swing it between your hands. So there's an inhale to lift, and exhale to swing through. One more, hover, and lower. Legs out in front, lift your heart, breathe in. Fold over your legs as you breathe out. Let your head and your neck go. and slowly lift yourself back up. Scoot forward, we're gonna come all the way onto our backs. So give yourself space to roll down and set up for a little bridge less. So not unlike what you just did, hands by your sides, you're gonna think of lifting your hips off the ground. I like to inhale, lift, exhale, lower. You do whatever breath makes sense to you and really turn on glutes and hamstrings. So you're really pressing into your heels. Inhale to lift and your exhale to lower. It's gonna be fast or slow. Make sure that it's controlled. I'm less worried about how many you're doing and how you're doing them. So belly button draws back. Knees are supported. Glute muscles are really lifting. Yep. 
slowly lower down. Knees to chest, give yourself a squeeze, a release. Extend your right leg long, left leg long, let's do that. <laughs> and your right foot up to the sky. And then start to hug your feet, hover your feet, I should say. Words are hard. <laughs> Lift your chest, pulse, pulse, gentle pull in, and switch legs. Core is strong. A little side to side movement here. One leg and then the other. Even out your sides. Hug your left knee in and slowly release. Let's take a spinal twist to finish this out. Knees to chest, let both fall to one side. Head in the opposite direction. And as you're ready, swap out your sides. Come back to word center. Take a pause to notice what else your body's asking for, and as you're ready, get yourself set up for final rest. That could be on your back, your belly, your side, or even seated. Maybe hands come to your body for more grounding energy. Eyes are soft or closed. And just a couple minutes to be in stillness. As you feel ready, add little movements back in, fingers, toes, wrists, and ankles. And then eventually find your way up to a comfortable seated position. A moment to pause here, notice how you're feeling. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. Thank yourself for making some time to move, to breathe, to be in your body. I thank you as always for sharing your energy and moving and breathing with me. We'll bow our heads together in silence. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope to see you soon. And please share the love, comment, like, subscribe. And I've got a little link below for a discount to CRZ Yoga. They make the outfit I'm wearing. Love this brand. Really comfortable, really cute. So check them out.